list of things that might kill us keeps getting longer. I hadn't even thought about moonshots. Racks, skags, bandits, dehydration, heat stroke, regular stroke, stroke, stroke. Whatever that is. That murder pile. The list just keeps getting longer. I've never felt so alive! <laughs> this is awesome! I can't imagine going back to financial reports. Ugh, boring! That's the spirit, buddy. It's just... I know it's weird to say, but I'm having a great time. Fun. I feel the same way. This! This is what I'm talking about! Mixing it up with Hyperion. Teaming up with grifters? Come on! These are the types of stories we'll tell our children when we're millionaires! We just survived moonshots from Hyperion! Huh? Friggin' moonshots, man! I am not afraid anymore! You hear me, Hyperion? I am Vaughn, and I am not afraid! Yo, what the hell was that? Relax, it's a vet. Oh, okay. I have to pee. And not because I was scared. I, I had to go anyway. This is perfect timing. Freeze, you're alive. <sighs> Thank God you guys are okay. I thought that was it for a second there. I am so relieved. Well, there doesn't seem to be any permanent damage, but I can't really account for internal bleeding. Tell her to send some supplies! Yeah, don't talk to me while you're peeing. Thank you. Sorry! Almost done! Anyway, I got them to stop shooting, but I can't keep Vasquez from wanting to take you guys out. I'm doing what I can, but it's chaos up here. So I can't talk long. Hey, Yvette, are you able to locate Loaderbot? We kinda lost him racing away from the moonshots. I'm not picking up a signal just yet. Look, I'm able to track you, so stay safe for now. I'll send what I can. Cool. Hopefully she can help us out. We can't be walking through the desert too long. I mean, not without water. To go through all this and die of dehydration would be pretty lame. Uh, fun? Did you get stung by bees? What? Why? What's happening? Cause you're looking all swole. Huh? Swollen. Sw I, swole is I don't... swollen. You are weirdly buff, dude. That's what I'm... I put an exercise bike in my office a few months ago. Don't worry about it. Right. He is pretty young. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a little envious of the definition he's got going. You're saving the world. It doesn't leave you much time for the gym. Look, uh, <laughs> now's not really a good time. Uh, not a good time for... What exactly? Because we're stuck in the desert, we gotta get a move on, and you showing up is just complicating things. Look, I don't know how I got here, idiot, so I Reese, sure as hell don't know how to leave. Who are you talking to? So he definitely can't see me, right? You're kind of freaking me out, Reese. We're the only ones here. Hey, so remember earlier when uh, I said I could see Handsome Jack? Sure, right after you fell off the ledge. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, it's true. Uh, he's standing right next to you. Right. Right. So, handsome... <laughs> handsome Jack is standing next to me. Yes. And I can't see him, but you're able to see him and also talk to him. Correct. He definitely thinks you're crazy. Who exactly is this little muscle-bound tool? <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Ask him how many fingers I'm holding up. Uh, I don't know. He's scratching his ass and... Uh... Oh! God, I think he may have pissed on his shirt. That's not yeah, clean. How many? Three. Three. You're holding up three fingers. Lucky guess. You know it's not. Come on. We should get out of the sun. I, I don't understand. Yeah, you're join the, the club. club. Jinx. Let's go. I can't tell if I'm crazy or you're crazy. Yeah, I don't know what state of being uh, I'm in right now, but, uh, well, walking still sucks. Man, what are the odds? What does he mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, I mean, of all the people in the universe, Handsome Jack could be appearing to 
it just happens to be the guy who's totally obsessed with him. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's like destiny. Uh, what? Should I be creeped out right now? Because I'm feeling a little creeped out. What are the odds of that? This is just a coincidence, Vaughn. Men make their own destiny. You sound like Vasquez. You sound uh, like you're dodging the question. Uh, you obsessed with me, Cupcake? I mean, think about it. You got all those handsome Jack posters in your office, dude. I think that's a little weird. That makes two of us. Yeah, those are motivational posters. You like the cat, dang it. They're Hyperion issued. Well, maybe it has something to do with the Nakayama drive. Namiyaka, what, why does that sound familiar? No, I did shove a bunch of data, you know, straight into my head. Ah, uh, Nakayama, right, the weirdo that was obsessed with me. The other weirdo that was obsessed with me. Oh, man, Hyperion would kill to get their hands on this. This? You, your head or body or whatever Jack is in. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Whatever version of Jack you've got in there, Nakayama stored it for a reason. Damn right, even this idiot gets we it. We don't tell anyone. Not at least until we what? figure no, out what No, 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 you need to get me back yeah, to Helios. you're probably right. No, no, you are definitely wrong. This is torture, that's, that's what it is. I'm in hell. This is what hell is. <laughs> It's about time. That's gotta be Yvette. So, I guess she's sending a new loader bot. Uh-oh, incoming! <laughs> it's coming right for us. Hey, I guess that tracker's working, huh, boys? It's coming right for us! <laughs> Nice sock. Fancy meeting you two here. Here I was, out for a nice drive, and I land right on just the guys I was looking for. <laughs> it's red, Hugo. I thought you wanted your car in black. Ho ho ho. I see what you did there. That's funny. You steal my car, you make jokes about it. That's good, that's great stuff. Look, I know we had a deal. And uh, while I don't like to go back on an agreement made man to man... Hey, I... That's right, we did have a deal! You convinced me to double-cross my best friend, and the day isn't even over before you're double-crossing me? Oh, <laughs> oh man. When you put it like that, it does sound awful. Yeah, funny. I get it. Maybe we should try to take this a little more seriously. Should've known better than to trust a snake like you. Oh, don't be like that, little guy. It's just the way of the, uh... Listen, I'm gonna go see if I got a shirt in the truck, because your body is making me uncomfortable. Hold tight, kids. Look, I told him I would sell you out, but I swear I wasn't gonna do it. I was just saying whatever he wanted to hear just to keep that jerk off our backs. I wasn't gonna follow through with it. Please believe me. I swear, Reese, I would never... We will talk about this later. Okay. Okay, that works. I guess I just... What's that? They're shovels, genius. You two freaks start digging. I want to see a decent grave going before too long. You heard me. Don't make me tell you again. No, no, no. I'm not digging. How about I gut shot you? Your little friend can watch you bleed out. I do not want to do that. What a good friend.
What part of dig don't you understand? Let's get going, Mr. Universe. Okay, just don't shoot. There you go. A little hard work never killed anybody. I mean, you're gonna die. Yeah, sure, but I mean, it won't be the hard work that... <laughs> to be fair, that was supposed to hit you. Wait. Wait! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Damn. Damn, that smarts. I think I did that wrong. I, I got a tough noggin. Looks so easy in the movies, but... Amateur hour. You gotta aim for the bridge of the nose, dum-dum. How is it every time I show up, you idiots are in a worse situation? <laughs> You're not helping. Uh. All right, fun's over. Looks like we'll be settling for the shallow variety of grave. Reese, you die first, and then he can load your body in the car. I'll bury Vaughn myself. What? Yeah, they want this idiot's body for something up there. Something, uh, important floating around in his head. This is a prototype. The most advanced gun Hyperion has ever made. Someone's overcompensating. <laughs> Any last words before the, how to say, the inevitable two? Eat shit. Yeah, there's the spirit. Well, that was three words. And I'll be sure to put eight shit on your tombstone. And I'd be more worried about my tombstone if you knew where the safety was. You're hilarious. I'm gonna miss your... Uh, is there a problem? Uh... I know how to shoot a gun. I just want to get the maximum damage out of this thing. Okay, look, as much as I'd love to watch this idiot kill you two idiots, I can't let that happen. I'm, I'm inside of, I'm not inside you, but I'm like, look, if you go, I go. I've enhanced your echo eye, so use it to hack something and get us the hell out of this jam. I'll figure out how you can pay me back later. I've got you back. Right. Okay, mess this guy up. It's heavy, but it's a solid piece of metal. Oh, get yourself system access. That's a button new. on a gun you can do. Push this in. Push this in, and then nothing's happening. Something feels like there's a safety on this. This. Whoa! Did you do that? And paranoia! It begins. Safe? Okay, we got power. Shock. Power. Oh! Surprise! What the hell's going on? Well, there we go. Wait. doing that. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is an interesting little development. Fine, look, we gotta go. This is my head. Get out. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Oh, oh you see, you see what you did? You hit your... Reese!
So should we be going to Hollow Point or straight to Old Haven? I mean, they know where we're going. Maybe we should just meet them there. Well, I guess we could just meet them in Old Haven, get a head start, or we could always just go to Hollow Point, though that might be dangerous. Man, this is a big decision. <laughs> It's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, talk to myself during, you know, huge choices. It's just something I do, and I, I know it's just, you know, super important. I, I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to me right now. So, anywho, probably should just choose something. Well, that's probably enough out of me. Point. Then we'll go together, like a family. Sounds good. To Hollow Point. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. It was just to keep Vasquez off of us. Like I said, I would never betray you, bro. Do you forgive me? Just say yes. Cause I feel like super bad right now, bro. Even though I wasn't gonna go through with it. It's good, bro. Really? Yeah, bro, don't sweat it, we're good. Oh, bro, thanks, bro. No problem, bro, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, we're bros, bro. Told you to have him evacuate. That's bro, 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 We should probably let him finish. Fine. I'm curious. Why would you choose to go to Hollow Point? What was there to gain? I'm growing impatient. Well, despite what you might call a lack of skill, I moved up through the ranks at Hyperion fairly quickly. Straight to the middle. And I've been able to do that because of one thing. And one thing only. Loyalty. As evidenced by your former boss trying to kill you. We all have our reasons. I suppose yours are good enough. If they were, we wouldn't be here. A man can only take so much. Luckily, you're a safe distance from a man. <laughs> we were stranded in the desert. You had a car. Did you even consider coming to get us? We had our own... One of you will have to change a tire. We made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out, probably. But, um, 
Badlands are practically a graveyard. I hate to say it, but they're not gonna last the night. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Between the exposure, the skags, and the psychos, I'd say they're screwed. They knew what they signed up for. With a caravan like this, we couldn't help them if we wanted to. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. Oh, please. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Ugh, does every mechanic have to be gross? Scooter's a fan of the races, good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossanova. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Harry is three to five by twelve. Oh, uh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Uh, oh, hey, man! Welcome to Skeeter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? Uh. Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully, handing this place over to the new proprietor today, and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner... Wow, oh, this is a really nice looking place you have here, Scooter. Oh, thanks, man. It means a lot. Business has been a little slow so far, you know, being in a hidden cave town and everything, but it'll pick up. <laughs> Hope it picks up, though. Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Boston Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man. Did you see me? I was, I was waving. You were a badass. Oh, <laughs> yep, got me. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I could fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about twenty-five hundred cold. Twenty-five hundred? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. Scooter, sir, you have yourself a deal. Yeah? Oh, man, this is awesome. You will not regret this. No way, no how, man. But, uh, say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! You know what? Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Catch a ride! <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with like 
catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass for you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork. Let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man. Here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. I know it's a big decision. But you go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and stare at them, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me. The badass from hell. Man, to be you right now, facing all the impossibilities, right for the taking. Can you taste the potential? It's, uh... It's kind of like cinnamon. Or that's just me licking spark plugs again. What day is it? I remember one time I was standing around with my friend Smitty, and we were staring at stuff like this, and it was one of those times where you're like, man, sure is awesome to have such good friends. You don't have to say a thing at all, and it ain't awkward or nothing. But then I turned to him, and, and he, he died. That was, a, that was a tough birthday for me. That is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself and for me getting to do it. Can't wait. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. to teach them. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Thanks. Hey man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? I don't think Felix is as too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it. <laughs> 